Hey, what's going on, everyone? Well, here we are. Rain finally let up. We can go back outside and do some things. Um, been working on the 580, the backhoe, and uh, started out had a stabilizer valve that uh, blew its insides out, and uh, that was pretty much it. Couldn't use the backhoe, and uh, I've been putting off putting brakes in it and uh, the steering valve was leaking and it was putting oil out up the steering column and it would come out right here so when you were operating the machine you'd get a lap full of oil if you ran it long enough which was not good but had to pull the floor pans out anyway the valve that started it all as far as this little project went is right let's see right there and um well, it's not like super hard to get to. The um, the tubes and the and the hoses they're a little bit of a challenge to get off and work in the space that you have. And of course, it's you know kind of limited as far as how you can reach it. You have to do it from the top. You try to get it from the bottom. It doesn't really give you any advantage. At any rate, then we put the brakes. So far, anyway, we get the brakes. Let's see. I don't know if this will really show up, but. I don't know if you can see. Let's see look over here. This might be better. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, see these nuts? Well, if you can picture it, underneath this is where the brake slates are. On this side, you can see. Maybe not. Anyway, they're under there. You kind of have to work by braille. Then there's the steering cylinder, which the steering excuse me, steering valve, which I can actually take this camera and put it up in here and you can see, hopefully, where all those hoses come together and then that comes out through the floor and this is the steering column and goes up like this and that's the steering valve. So, change that, new steering column, came with the valve Flint Hydraulics, by the way, in Tennessee, a good place to deal with. And the valve, the stabilizer valve came from F.P. Smith. And this is where the master cylinders go. Um, haven't put them in yet because the weather wasn't cooperating. But we do have, over here in truck 19, a nice new pair of master cylinders. And those will work real nice. Those are uh, actually... They're out of a Heister forklift. So for the rest of you 580 people out there that are doing work similar to this, don't pay case prices. Pay Heister replacement part prices, which I bought both those master cylinders. The slave cylinders for the brakes from Reliable, let's see, Reliable Aftermarket Parts on eBay, or you can go directly to their website. Uh, I bought all the parts to put the the master cylinders and the slave cylinders in for less than what one master cylinder costs from case. And as far as trying to rebuild the master cylinders, I'm afraid these old pups that had better days, um, they want you to put the TCH hydraulic oil in them. Well, somebody had put brake fluid in the system before I had tobacco, and that was it. Rolling the wheels, the um, slave cylinders and the master cylinders. I tried to rescue them, but up too, too little, too late. Anyway, this is the parking brake. I don't have the cable out here, but I found a parking brake cable from an outfit called Tetra, I think, Terra, Tetra. I'll put it in the, uh, the text when I post this for where it came from. Uh, half the price of a new one, essentially, from Case. Uh, very good quality. This um, was all frozen up. I managed to get it to work, although this is a little stiff. Oops. This is a little, the adjustment needs some lubrication. I did get it freed up without breaking the aluminum, this aluminum knob. And so when this is back in, this kind of sits over here like, uh, I'm trying to remember how this goes in exactly. I think it goes like that. Uh, sits like that in a floor pan. And uh, 
Got to put a new boot. Fortunately, that one's good. Kept the trans clean, but this keeps the crap from getting all over the top of the trans. And um, that's about it. So, uh, matter of getting the master cylinders in, lead the brakes out, and uh, get a couple of electrical problems fixed up. Um, trying to remember what number breaker this is. This breaker right here is not functioning. Um, that's the one I'm pretty sure runs. I'm going to jump it and find out to make sure, but I think this is the one that runs like the um, fuel gauge, which isn't working. It used to work. It doesn't work now. This breaker is not working. And this breaker isn't working. This is a 15 and this is a 40. Um, and I think we'll be in pretty good shape. It won't be fixed. You know, everything won't be fixed, but uh, it'll be much better than it was. So that's it for now, everyone. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Signing off. Have a great one. See ya.